So I stopped in the Dollar General, which is up the street from where I'm at. And it's late at night, it's like seven, almost eight o'clock. And I really don't feel like putting Claude's vest on. And I've been into the Dollar General before. So I think this person is new or the new manager or whatever. Um, and I haven't had much problems when I like wear Cloud naked. There's a lot of people who will come up to me and say like, oh, and there's no pets allowed. And I'm like, well, she's a service dog. And then they leave it at that. Um, but this person, she, she came up to me and I already knew that I had a feeling that somebody was going to come up to me and say something, but I thought it was going to be the usual, which I was fine with because I was literally just running in to grab my friend, uh, diapers. She asked me to run and grab her diapers, um, for her because her dog is in heat, whatever. I mean, I didn't, I didn't expect this person to ask for identification or, uh, certification. So what happened was... I was looking at the diaper aisle, looking at the diapers, and she comes up to me and goes, just for future references, pets are not allowed. And I said, oh, she's a service dog. And they go, well, next time, make sure you have a harness and an ID for her. And like that, you guys obviously know, if you know my channel, you know the ADA law, there is no such thing as registration, no certification, nothing like that for uh, service animals under the ADA. I kind of just let it that. I said, you can't ask for that. I, I instantly got a little bit mad. I said, you can't ask for that. And if you did, then I can sue you for that. And she walked away in the next aisle. I finished, I grabbed the diapers, um, I bought them. And then I went around the store looking for her because I wanted to educate her. And even if I knew it was gonna be a fight, I wanted to um, educate her and tell her like that was wrong. You can't ask for that. And she was very, very polite about it. A lot more than I thought she was going to be. talk to you about um, my dog. I'm and actually looking up the laws on it right now. Yeah, I have a card right well, here. They do say that a vest is required? No, you? it's not. It's, it's actually not. not required by the ADA. It's the Americans with Disabilities Act. Okay. And she's a trained service dog. Some days, I, I mean, I mostly do have a vest on her, but okay. there are just some days, like right now, I'm just grabbing diapers. Like, I didn't want to put a vest on her, okay. but she's trained. I just wanted to let you know in case, because I know there's some other service dogs in this town. Um, she basically just like said, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Like, I didn't understand. I'm actually trying to look up the laws now. And it's saying on Google that you're supposed to have a vest, that the vest was required. And I said, actually, it's not. By the ADA law, which is Americans with Disabilities Act, it's a federal law. Um, I tried my best. I know I was kind of like back and forth with explaining it. Um, you gotta think, like, this is my first um, time educating a staff member um, or anything like that. This is my first time I've really had this issue. Um, because most people, most employees honestly just don't care because she's a husky, which is also kind of triggering to me. But if they don't give me problems, and I know I'm not breaking the law, so. So, um, yeah, I just know, didn't just, know because I actually don't live in the state, so I, I don't know. Yeah, the state with a different yeah, law. it's it's a federal law. Um, it's actually with like every state. Um, a business cannot require like identification, vest, anything like that. Um, but like the only thing that you can't ask, um, you're fine. Yep. Sit down. Thank you. Stay. Okay, I'll be up in one second. Yeah, only thing, the only two like questions that you can ask is, is it a service animal and what task does it perform? And okay. yes, she's a service animal and she alerts me to my disability. So, okay. there. You, you, just, you can keep it if you want to, if it can help you. It tells you the website, all that stuff. Yeah, it's that called, I can train, it's um, called, yeah, it's called, my staff. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it's because called, I've heard so many like red collar. That's over. That's over. Yeah. yeah, right, right. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, there is no certification or anything like that. And it's, it's the ADA law, which is American Disabilities Act. So, okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. They wanted to give us a problem, and I tried my best to educate them. Uh, her and. I think I did pretty well. She was very nice about it. I gave her an ADA law card that I have and it has the ADA website on it so she can go to that and she said that she was gonna um, educate her employees about it which is really nice. So yeah I just told her like the two questions that she's allowed to ask and I did answer them for her. Hold on Cloudy B. <laughs> what is that face for? <laughs> she's so done. <laughs> Anyway, I know this video is very, very short, but I thought it could be educational and um, this is how you approach an employee or a manager of a store when they give you issues.
pretty much it. It's just how to deal with this kind of issue type of thing. Um, and I just wanted to show you how it goes. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.